Hey guys welcome back to my channel, hope you're all good. Today, like always, we'll be recapping a 1995 drama thriller movie. Stay tuned and watch till the end to find out the name of the movie. The start of the movie takes us to Suzanne Moretto, where she would likely call herself Suzanne Stone which was her original name before adopting her husband's name. Suzanne is making a documentary video about her life with her husband, Larry Moretto before he died. In another scene, a group of interviewers is questioning Larry's sister, Janice Moretto, the way she felt about her brother's wife Suzanne. Janice reports back negatively, saying she didn't like Suzanne from the start and would prefer her brother had married someone else. The families of both Suzanne Stone and Larry Moretto are hosted on a popular TV show where they talked about the activities they noticed between their children's marriage. Earl Stone, father to Suzanne Stone, mentioned Larry, Suzanne's late husband, was responsible for bringing out something that they thought wasn't in Suzanne. Practically speaking he meant Larry being able to thrust into Suzanne fresh pussycat out in the open. Time goes on and Larry continues to flaunt Suzanne. Funnily enough, not one of their family members actually approved of their union but however none said a word because they didn't want to stir up trouble. Suzanne has always been enthralled with being on television and aspiring to be the new world famous journalist that goes around broadcasting news to people across globally. Using Larry's family restaurant as a medium to make herself financially stable, she takes a job as an assistant at one, a local cable station, in hope to climb up the network ladder of her dreams. Through relentless persistence, she's eventually promoted to doing the station's evening weather report. Later we get introduced to Jimmy Emmett who was in prison but being interviewed as well also, and Lydia Mertz, a high schooler who became a close friend of Suzanne along the way. Larry begins to realize Suzanne wasn't sure about starting a family. He starts asking her to give up her career in favor of helping out at his restaurant and starting a family with him. The night Larry tells Suzanne his plans for their future, Suzanne immediately becomes irritated. Suzanne immediately begins plotting to get rid of Larry. She manipulates the high schooler subjects of the TV documentary she has been making, Teen Speak Out. On a special occasion she invites Lydia and Jimmy to her home when her husband is away. She makes Jimmy dance with her and sends Lydia to take her dog for a walk. When Lydia returns back, she catches Jimmy giving it to Susanna in Suzanne's bedroom. She takes Jimmy to her house where she sucks his cucumber so much until Jimmy finally agrees to collect a gun from Russell. She then tricks him into doing her bidding, seducing Jimmy and pushing him and his friends, Russell Hines and Lydia, into killing Larry with Lydia's mother's gun. With their help, she is able to complete her mission of killing Larry. On the night Larry is shot, Jimmy is holding the gun about to pull the trigger. Within this brief moment he uncontrollably had several images flashing of himself giving it to Susanna very hard and in different positions while she screamed. As time went on the police continued to carry out their investigation but all they have are just words and not enough proof to take down Suzanne. Due to this Larry's death is ruled the result of a botched burglary. However, the police come across a teen speak out clip from investigating Suzanne's place of work. The tape contains Suzanne meeting at the high school school which exposed her in a sexual relationship with Jimmy. This evidence makes the teens connected to the crime scene arrested. Lydia makes a deal with the police to converse with Suzanne while wearing a wire. Lydia calls Suzanne and they meet up in a busy mall. Suzanne unknowingly, puts the blame of her husband's death on Jimmy and Russell. She even proves to have an alibi and by doing so she unwittingly reveals her hand in the murder. However, despite this damning evidence, Suzanne argues that the police resorted to entrapment and is released on bail. All the charges and accusations against the innocence of Suzanne were dropped with lack of evidence she had anything to do with Larry's death. When she's released from the court and is on her way home, a swarm of reporters flood at the entrance to the court bombarding her with numerous questions concerning how she would continue to fend for herself. Basking in the media spotlight, Suzanne makes up a story about her husband being a cocaine dealer who was murdered by Jimmy and Russell. Jimmy and Russell the high school boys are sentenced to life in prison. Russell gets his sentence reduced and will have to stay in prison for 15 years. Lydia is released on probation and Jimmy gets life imprisonment. Suzanne completes her documentary and leaves her home after getting a call from a fake movie studio executive. She gets in her car and rides to meet him. Meanwhile, Larry's father, Joe Moretto, 
realizes Suzanne was behind his son's death and uses his mafia connections to have her murdered. He hires a professional hitman. The hitman lures Suzanne away from her car by posing as a movie studio executive, kills her, and conceals her body beneath a frozen lake. Lydia tells her side of the story in a televised interview and achieves national fame, becoming a celebs. Janice, Larry's sister who had always disliked Suzanne, practices her figure skating on the frozen lake. The lake where Suzanne's frozen buried corpse lay. There you have it folk. If you're guessing the name of the movie and want to check it out I've got you covered. The movie is a 1995 drama film titled To Die For. Alright, hope you enjoyed it. We hope to see you in our next videos.